Okay. So many of us participate in many holidays not knowing the truth behind why these things have been created for us to celebrate. Um, you understand how profiting on our rituals and cycles annual, right? So understand how, right, those that control the institutions, the schools, the corporations have benefited by us continuously participating annually in different rituals such as Valentine's Day and what have you. So when we look at Valentine's Day in this particular time of February, Aquarius, Black History Month, this time frame, um, it has a zodiacal, astronomical um, purpose, right? When we un look here, okay, at the different, right, earth chakras. Understand, we're talking about the base chakra here in California, Mount Shasta, this region, the base, you have to understand the, the root or the base of a tree, right? We're talking about the base chakra, all of the things that take place within the root or the base chakra, right, are associated with this location in, in the earth. So you understand Hollywood's location, right? And why they are in the region that they are in. When you see here again, these are the earth chakras, understand the base chakra here. This is why the ending of the day, the dwelling, place right is associated with this location right where we understand the earth but here you see okay so we're talking about um sacred trees in hollywood I understand when we're talking about um the beginnings sacred trees the celts and the droids druids understand the new people, the Negrito people, the, the short stature people, um, the leprechauns that you have seen right throughout in Hollywood, many stories, the troll, right, under the bridge, and all of these different um, depictions of these short stature people. All right, so I understand St. Patrick's Day is also in March. In this period before the new year, right? So when we look at these short stature people, we have to understand best, right? And the, all that encompass the circle and the stone circles and the different monuments that you'll find in Ireland and in these regions, right? Are attributed to what we call the new people, right? And when we sometimes when we speak of the new people, these are the Twa, who we associate to be um, part of this, a new group of people that you find a short statue that were found in Ireland in these locations. So when we're talking about these holidays, why people support these holidays and times, St. Patrick's understand the profit, right, that has taken place off of the participation of genocide and lack of understanding, right? Because of when you look at Hollywood, right? As we're gonna look into it, but I'm trying to go down here. Come on. All right, as you see here, right, the Norse and these different individuals. But understand the ancient priesthood of Shem, right? And Melchizedek and those priests and Negus, those kings that travel throughout the the earth to bring civil obedience to all men and all things, beasts and creeping things and all things within the earth, right? So when you see how this science, right, of sacred tree, right, we look 
and to the Celts. We have to understand the sacred tree and what we call Hollywood, right? And these different forms of trees, the cedar, when we're talking about the elm, the fir, right? Holly. So let's see what holly is. A beautiful white wood, which is almost invisible gray and looks like a very much like ivory. Holly is associated with the death and rebirth symbolism of winter. In both pagan and Christian lore, it is important to the winter solstice. So understand Christmas and the crossing and the symbols, right? We got to understand how these things play annually. So each year since I've been in truth, we have always talked about how these holidays and what have you, right? So understand the benefit and the profit, right? Off of these holidays, talking about the winter solstice, this is the crossing, the three days and three nights, right? Because remember the Negusas, they had to cross and make their pilgrimages, right? Annually to obtain this order. So understand the winter solstice. It is one of the three timbers used in construction of the chariot wheel shafts. It was used in the spear shaft also. The qualities of spear shafts are balance and directness. As the spear must be hefted to be thrown, the holly indicates the direct balance and vigor to fight. If the cause is just, holly may be used in spells having to do with sleep or rest as to ease the passage of death. A bag of leaves and berries carried by a man is said to increase his ability to attract women. So understand, um, we're talking about the the Hollywood, the Hollywood, and the Druids and the pagan rituals of Ireland, and what happened to the Twa people, the original inhabitants of these lands. So we look at Valentine's Day and how Hollywood makes money off of romance and sex. And how sex and all this stuff sells, right? So it says here, celebrated on 5th, February 15th. Okay, it was known as a festival of sexual license. It was held by ancient Romans in honor of... So we understand the um, how Romans and Remus, right? It was uh, they, how Rome was started was they sucked the breast of a she-wolf who gave them life and nurture so this is what they did they raped and sucked off of the black woman her fertility and her nature to be fertile is how they receded and began to um, establish their culture this is how they their story so when you see the pan god and the and these half men have uh understand the sagittarius Right, the sage, right, because you gotta understand. Let me show you what I mean. Right, so, talking about the Sagittarius Scorpio, here's the base of California, right? Then you come into Sagittarius Capricorn, Aquarius Pisces. So we're talking about the winter solstice and these, right, understand the Twa and these short stature people are the people that you find here in these regions of Reuben, man, Saturn, Aquarius, the semen. The, understand this is, right, the 12, so this would be the 6. So understand six months. This is a period of six months from September to here. Where you come into March, into April, to the new year, spring, the sprouting, the noon, the 12. So when we're talking about here, the primates, the preemies, premature, the primates, preemie, pre cousins. When you call your cousin primos, the first primates, the first cousins, right? So understand your first cousins are the primates, the preemies, the short stature, twa people um, that, that you also found here. In these regions here in Ireland, right? And the twa, understand the twine light that takes place between the setting and the rising because of these 120 degree west makes a perfect circle, a great circle, excuse me, with 60 degrees east. 
So I understand the culture, right? We're talking about um, how these different things became about with the Romans, okay? So it says here, the holidays. I understand where we're located. This time of February, Aquarius, right? In this region here, okay? So I understand February 15th. It was known as the Festival of Sexual License. Alright, so everything that was going on during this time of the winter solstice, sex, marriage, chaos, chaotic, the waters, right? Understand this is two separate hemispheres here mixed together in this ocean here, the Pacific Ocean. Okay. Let me show you what I mean. Okay. All right, so this region, these oceans, right? Two hemispheres, these oceans right here, Pisces, Pacific Ocean is in both of these hemispheres, north and all four directions, right? It, it encompasses all. So that's why this region is called the Ring of Fire, right? Because it has all directions encompass in its circle. So 120 degrees east here is the lake there. 120 degrees west is the lake here. So I'm saying the premature from Meshi, the Meshi called the crown, right? Six months here brings you to the sprouting point of Aries where you pass over, okay? For the Passover. So understand this region right here is Pisces in April. So Aquarius, Andaman, the Andaman Islands here, premature the primate, the premius prime man. So understand um, when we look at the Negrito people and the Negros Oriental Island and you see these short statured people. This is one of the reasons why I'm trying to um, show here Scorpio tally. Okay. Look at the joints here. It says um, the religion of the joints was similar in all particulars to that of the Israelites and the Mayans. It says the relics of the Judaic customs, both internal for evidence, right? One God to understand the droids worship Baal or Bali. So we're talking about ba Bali, Baal, Bali, the veil, right? Bell, a bell, a southern bell, understand um, the Amazon, the Amazonian location of the Virgo. So when you see these locations here in in these regions, Angawat, where you'll find uh, the, the a lot of trees, right? with these ancient inscriptions on the walls depicting right a lot of the um deuteronomy curses are displayed on in stone in these locations so when we look at the um the druids Right in the Hollywood, it says here um, the Jewish bell was the supreme god. The sacred name of the Lord had also its equivalent 
term amongst the British Druids. Hue was an epithet of Bell, signifying the self-existence, being he that is, the similarity and sound of the two names in the near relation between he that is and I am that I am must be evident to the most superficial student. See for the chapter on the cross. So the great similarities as between the Druid Oak, Maya, and Israelite rites will appear in the following. Okay, so when you look at Abraham and what took place, um, had greatly increased northward after leaving the native country. So we're talking about Abraham and the Chaldeans in, the, in this region. You about to head out, Pop? Yeah. Okay. We shall destroy all their altars, break their statues, and cut down their groves. So understand these groves, when you look into this region in Angkor Wat, uh, with these massive uh, grove, group, graven trees and monuments of stone, thin trees, hidden within jungles, and thin trees, understand why. Um, we understand the uh, monkey kings, King Kong, and the, uh, the priest kings of Shem. So these are ancient kings, prehistoric kings, that originally established these things. And over time, as men began to populate the earth, they began to use the ancient teachings for profit. Um, as, you, as you see in the scriptures. So this, this is why the scriptures are important because it shows how men deviated from the foundation and um, used it. So it says, their kings in numerous instances worship in groves. It says, Abraham by the oak. So you look at the oak tree when it talks about the plain. It says the worship, it says here. So in Genesis, uh, where it says the Lord God appeared to Abraham by the oak of Moray, the word should be translated oak, not plain, as in our versions. It says he pieced his tent by an oak tree. Jacob adorned his God through the same beneath oak. Oak survive under the oak. So understand the oak tree and the stones. The circular form of the stones, right? And how that, all of these things played in reference to the, the calculation of the four seasons of time. Understand the, what Abraham and the Chaldeans and their observation of astrology and the zodiacs um, and Stonehenge and the circular form of the seven, right? So when you see the 12 pillars, the 12 signs of the zodiac, this in the circle form, the temples. It says in Joshua, the builder of the structure at Gigil assembled the Israelites in the new temple. He said, when you and your children in future ages shall ask their fathers what mean these stones, ye shall tell them that these were erected as an acknowledgment to the Almighty God, that ye might fear the Lord your God forever. The seven stones set up at Stonehenge, and elsewhere represent the seven giants who were petrified and charged into enormous stones. These also stood as seven stations of the pole and the circuit of the procession of the circle of CD under one stone head. So when you see the seven stations, and I was talking about here. Um, okay, the seven stations, look here, just the first chakra, the base, the navel, right, in this region, throat, chakra, solar plexus, right, and the seventh chakra. Now, it's interesting what you got to remember is that the sun... Right, the sun's rotation comes this way. So the rotation of the sun, right? So understanding these locations, right? Because here, right, it's a separation of water. All right, separation of water, oceans, separation of ocean. All right, separation of, of different oceans. So when you see 
these different vortexes and different things. Um, but the seven stations, as it was talking about the stone circles, right? Understand one, two, right? Three, four, five, six, right? And seven, right? So these are seven chakras. So when we look at, right, this is the crown, right? The third eye, the throat, the heart, right? And the third chakra, the solar plexus, the navel, all right? And the base. So we're talking about the, the rising, the spiral energy of the body in this form here. Understand how the under why the understanding of the Earth's three hundred and sixty degrees and seasons and appointments and times and seasons, right, had to be established throughout the whole Earth, right, because the whole Earth. Right, uh, for a whole day, 24 hours, 12, 12, 12, right, had to go through these processions, through these, the wave, the energy, the circuit. So, the base, the beginning and the end of the day, all of this, right, was pro. So, understand why, right, Valentine's Day and these things. Right, are placed upon you, right, annually, every year. It's the cycles, it's to keep you in control in this, all right, circle to keep you with, keep you going, right. So let's see here. It says here, um, it says assisted by vessel versions the. Male priests conducted purification rites by sacrificing goats and a dog in the Lupro cave of a Palatine hill where the Romans believed twins, Romans and Romans, had been sheltered and nursed by a she-wolf, by a bitch. Understand a she-wolf is a female dog, a bitch. So when you look at the um, traditions of Anubis or the underdog, we're talking about the underdog, underdog. Right, Anubis and the the one that the guider through the underworld understand when they captured the woman, they captured the flag, they captured the woman, the booty, right, and how they nurse the when they this is how they when they talk about the muses and how they took the libraries and the oracles, right, and the text, understand um this is what they mean when they nursed off of the she woman they and they captured the arts. Right, understand the Greco Romans, right? That how they established their culture was through the muses, right? The music, the arts. So we understand the arts and the spoken word and the she wolf and the oracles, understand the woman, the queen, the bara, the bar, to speak, the bar. Right? So it says, um, before they eventually founded Rome. Clothed in loincloths made from sacrificed goats. Understand why the goats, the, Sagitt the uh, Sagittarius, the sage, right? Okay. From the Pacific Ocean during the winter solstice, all of these celebrations that take place for Lent. Understand the 40, the 40 days in the fort, the fort that they ramage, right? Coming through these seas. Anyways, let's keep let's, it says here. Ghost smear with blood would run about Rome, striking women with fibera, thongs made from skins and and from sacrificed goats. This is why today niggas think beating the pussy up or this uh dominance, the sexual dominance or even bondage, sex bondage or whipping, uh beating and all these different things, sex bondage and uh uh, for um, pleasure, right? Understand what a diva is and how they broke her in, how she was hard to please, right? So they would rape her till she loved being made a whore, 
right? I, I don't know. It's, it's what it is. Turn your phone sideways so we can get all this. It says, um, the Romans, February was sacred. Also, hold on. It says, February skin sacrifice goats. Uh, that the floggings purify women and guarantee their fertility and ease of childbirth. So they understand also in the winter solstice and these oceans, the Mithra, the birth houses and the oceans and the waters, um, and why the churches and Mithras will become an important symbol later on because this is how they do the raping of the woman, right? These recessive, recessive gene holders, right? Raped their own mother that they receded from because their fathers right hated them because of their rec recessive traits right they didn't they didn't come out looking like their father, so we understand um the hatred for albinos those that have the mutations in skin, different things like that. Uh, when you look at the different scriptures and how anything that was outside of the divine perfection or what was seen as a divine perfection, right, had to be isolated. So we understand the isolation and we look at these different islands over here and you see these, right, different genetic traits in these islands. Understand um, this, this is a lot more than just that, but understand also that men would give their virgin daughters over to these men because they could not feed their own families, right? So they would give their virgin daughters to to these cultivators, to these warriors who would travel, you know, establishing law in these lands. They would offer their daughters for them to come back. And um, so this is why you see Solomon, right? And he's t the coin and the need for currency um, in exchange of the woman, right, for currency. But anyways, let's let's not get sidetracked. Um, it says here, the Romans, February was associated with Juno, the goddess of Fabrice, fever. Because I understand spring in this time is a time of uh, mating. So all of the birds fly this direction during this time into this region, right, north, right? Depending on how far they flew, right, what... The mating system, mating system of the birds, right, that fly into the north to mate during this time, played into significance in the teachings of these um, cultures of how um, these sex cultures and mating. Understand these birds only would fly to mate during this particular time to give birth, right? They did not have sex for pleasure, so these birds mating was for, um, not for pleasure, but for procreation. Um, so it says here, um, the Feast of Purification of the Virgin, uh, the date of Azar was later changed, the 14th, uh, okay, also known as, okay, so understand the history behind the Virgin Daughters and the capturing of lands and the taking of the women that had not been with men for yourself as booty, as a prize, Right, for warriors, this is what made men, this is what, how kings became prosperous, right? They would have to get virgins for their warriors, right? So the need to conquer lands and to take hold of virgins, right, to to um, feed your warriors, right, to keep, because they said um, a married, married warriors, right, would not fight as hard. So they wanted unmarried men, right, at a young age to go out. And the fight, and this is how they would get a wife. They would go out to war, and they would come back with the virgin, right? So a lot of these chivalry and a lot of these things that, of romance and a lot of these different things, right? You got to understand the cultures and how they come about. So this culture, this Greco-Roman culture, is chivalry and romance and death and love, Romeo, right? It's a mixture of the times of the systems changing from right win from winter right into spring right death into life um so it's a lot of different um things that they have played upon to use and manipulate right the 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 culture at the time. 
right? It was, as you see, during the Christian era, things change, right? Of how they did the worship, right? The pagan f- part of it became outlaw, right? So they had to find a new form of worshiping, right? Valentine's Day during this time because it's all about currency. It's all about controlling the flow of money um, at the end of the day, as you see here. So that's what Nimrod truly did. He understood the the annual processions and in order to control the world, right? He knew he had to control the capital, right? The toes and the foreheads, the four quads, right? If you t- take control of the foreheads, understand the Greeks had four generals, right? So understand the four generals and the four heads, right? And this region here, the base. Right, the base was this, the tally and the score, the kafar. This is why when we read in the book of Genesis about the children of Shem, and their dwelling place is Mesha. Understand Mesha, right? The Mish, the Mish, the 12 coming all the way down here, all right? To this region, Mexico is right here. The Mish, the Libro, and the Virgo, the 6th, September into see here October so understand in Mexico in the region of Teotihuacan the pyramid of the moon and the sun right where the Calle de la Dead they're talking about the, the movie Coco where Disney has made money off of right the movie Coco and it's talking about the crossing understand September into October, Halloween, Samhain, and all of these cultures of the Celtic Druids cultures in regards. Everything is coming back just to your understanding of self and the earth, right? Understanding that you are a tree and the earth is a tree and the base and how energy of the seven, all right? Yeah, understand right here, this is where the Indian and Atlantic meet. It's where the Western Pacific Ocean and the Eastern Indian Ocean meet. So, as you see here, um... This book, I'm, we're going to be getting into a lot. I didn't really get into it as much tonight. So I just wanted to just go through some stuff in here. I didn't even plan to make a video. But this book is a must get. Because you see here, it connects. How it connects to different cultures. All right. Not with emotion, not with bias, but with facts. So, um, the Druids, when the Celts understand Halloween, um, the winter solstice, and these different um, sorry. Just talking about the groves there. So, you know, this is some of the things this book gets into. So this one I'm gonna probably pick up tomorrow, getting into this. 12 Pillars. Brief little drop.